Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the way in which humans are able to locate sound. We're going to recap why sound is a good form of communication, then talk about how we detect the direction a sound is coming from, including looking at both time and intensity, as well as the limitations of our hearing. So we've talked about the reasons that sound is a good form of communication, and one of these is that it gives us directional information as to where a sound is coming from. The reason that it does this is because we have two ears, one on each side of our head. And these ears on each side of our head get two different uh, sounds come in, and our brain can compare these two sounds. And in particular, the things that it's comparing between these two inputs is the time it takes to reach our head, or our ears in particular, as well as the intensity in each ear, or how loud the sound is. So the first thing is time. Because sound has a particular speed which it travels, which is about 300 meters per second in air, it's going to reach the ear, a sound produced from the side is going to reach the ear on that side a little bit sooner than the ear on the other side. And when we're talking 300 meters per second and over only a few centimeters, it might not sound like very much, but the ear is able to pick up that very slight difference. Another thing the ear picks up is a difference in intensity. If a sound is coming directly from our side, because we have the ears on the side of our head, that ear is pointed directly at that sound and is therefore going to hear that sound as being louder or more intense. The ear on the other side of the head is going to hear it as being less intense or not at all. Uh, and if you are looking at the front or the back, again, because it's on the side of the head, it's not going to be as clear, or sorry, correction, as loud as if it was coming directly from the side. Another thing that affects intensity is the pitch of the sound. Low frequency sounds are able to pass straight through the head, while high frequency sounds are absorbed by the bone uh, brain and just the general tissue in the head. Uh, so therefore, uh, a low frequency or low pitch sound is going to be heard a little bit longer from one ear to the other, and we've talked about the time already. But those high frequency sounds, if they're being produced on one side of the head, the ear on the other side of the head may not be able to pick up those sounds at all. And we, it casts what we call an acoustic or a sonic shadow uh, in which you can't hear that sound. Uh, so we're able to use these two pieces of information to get a general idea of the direction that a sound is coming from. Now, because we've got these two ears, it, we find it very easy to determine things that are to the direct left and to the direct right of us. Uh, but because of the positioning, it is a little bit tricky and we can get confused when we're trying to determine if something's coming from in front or behind us. Uh, so, for example, if something is at 45 degrees to your right in front of you or 45 degrees to the right and behind you, uh, the information that's given to the two ears is going to be almost exactly the same. Uh, so what you can do is when you hear a noise, uh, a way we overcome this is by turning the head slightly, and this gives us another set of data, and we can use that extra set of data to more carefully triangulate that position. In this video, we've talked about how sound is good for communication because it gives us directional information as to where a sound is coming from. And we've talked about how we detect this sound by having two ears that have slightly different inputs in both time, uh, with the ear closer to the sound, getting its the sound wave slightly quicker, as well as the intensity being the ear facing the sound, hearing it louder, and those high-pitched noises being absorbed by the skull, so therefore creating that sonic shadow on the other side. And we talked about the limitation of this being that it's harder to detect sounds that are coming from in front or behind us, and that we can turn our heads uh, to correct for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.